Hello everybody! Welcome to day 55 of making a daily video challenge and the date for this particular video is actually it's being filmed on March 24th, 2023 for the purpose of being uploaded on March 25th, 2023. So uh, I don't know if any of you are interested in that, but at least you know. So sometimes if, uh, if a day's going to be really busy, I'll try and film the day before and then just upload it on that day. So without, without further ado, let's get into the, the juicy content of this, uh, of this video, right? Yay. All right, so here we go. We are uh, studying uh, Greg Shorthand and continuing our studies through chapter two. Today we begin our, or we uh, look at another reading and dictation exercise. So without further ado, let's go ahead and start typing this out. Here we go. So the framework of the branch factory at, now this is a even further abbreviation and for the, this is Philadelphia. Philadelphia, good old Philly. So that's Phila. Phila is the is the way it's uh, abbreviated. Uh, will be ready for the bricklayers by the end of May. Next sentence. In uh, making a study of the traffic, so traffic, um, uh, in, hold on, which one was that? One of, in, in this city, in this city. So in making a study of the traffic, uh, the traffic needs, traffic needs in this city, one of the first steps is to get needed data about the stream of uh, passing there's some funny lines in here like passing people I mean who uses that but I don't know I don't know if that was just a common way of saying it back then uh, but uh, it's funny nonetheless so passing people um, by making I think was that by the stream of passing people by putting in by Putting in a, by putting in a thorough, a thorough, uh, that was system of checking, there we go, thorough system of checking. That, that sentence must have been written for a politician. That's all I'm going to say. In making a study of the traffic needs in this city, one of the first steps is to get needed data about the stream of passing people by putting in a thorough system of checking. So, there you have it. Uh, let's see, going on, we have I, uh, as the, as the months, go uh, 
as the man as the months go by it is plain that the uh, that the steady steady decrease in sales in this business will leave a uh, will leave a uh, I believe it was heavy yes heavy uh, debt yeah because dent would be a slight in in there a uh, heavy debt that will almost drain drain our assets now that's a that sentence is a little bit more believable all right next one dear sir uh Dear sir, I have had a visit with I have had a visit Oh, did I just miss a sentence? I think I did. No, not yet. Okay. I have had a visit with Mr. Ames and he says that it will be well for you to see the Evans Evans people um, before the first of February. As, I think there should be a comma there, as it will, first February, as it will be in the now I'm I was trying to figure out as it will be I'm assuming at this point that the reason why they have it will be is they're talking about the business. So Evans is a company, hence the uh it, it will be well for you to see the Evans people. Those would be the representatives or the uh the business associates. So when it says uh as it will be in and then it's going to be in the market they're speaking of the business itself as it will be in the market uh, for some of your ranges um, about this time since it will be in the market for some of your ranges about this time uh, about this time. About that time, actually. I think it's, yeah, about that time. Okay. Speaking of, of February. And then this is a sentence. I'm pretty sure that they forgot a slash. So I will add that um, I am very... What was that? Very elated? What was it? I am very much. I am very much elated. That's a word you don't hear too much. Elated. I think that's it. Yeah. I'm very much elated over the um, sales that you made in January.
once again using an abbreviation, January, and I think it is safe to say that your salary will be raised before many months have passed. Yours, uh, actually that's very truly yours I believe, very truly yours. Woohoo! More money, more money. Raise in salary. All right. So that is the reading and dictation practice uh, at um, section 56. So now we're going to go ahead and jump through to sections 57, 58, and 59. One more slide. So with that, let me go ahead and um, hopefully... Oh, you guys could not see that. I just realized. So uh, I, I didn't know that my camera was blocking the view. Hold on, let me move out of the way. Let me hide more of myself so you can see. As the months go by, as the months go by. All right, so sorry about that. I failed to realize you couldn't see that. All right, so that's the reading and dictation exercise. Let me go ahead and hide the annotations. And let's go ahead and pull up our next set. So it's 57, or actually it's uh, 57 through 59 is our next set of slides. So we'll power through these real quickly. All right, here we go. So let me go ahead and find that 56, 57 through 59. And there will be one more slide. Uh, a 59 is a two-part slide. So this is the letter X. We had uh, uh, mentioned that um, yesterday. So the letter X, when X occurs at the end of or within words, it is expressed by S, uh, by S slightly modified in slant, thus. So if we have mix, notice you just put a little bit more of a curve on the X than you normally would with an S. So mix and then mixes like that, fix and fixes, tax and taxes. Something like that, okay? So that's our, the letter X, and then simple suffixes. The suffix shun, S-I-O-N, or T-I-O-N, is expressed by S-H. So for instance, mention is men, chun, nation is ne, shun, uh, missing, missing, or mission is me, shun, Diction is dick shun. Uh, fashion would be a little bit smaller, but fashion like that. Action, uh, faction, affection, vision. Session, evasion, and finally, section. All right, so that is the, uh, the suffix shun. And then uh, finally, we have 59, the, the past tense. The past tense is expressed, is expressed by T or D. So after most abbreviated words, a disjoined T placed close to the preceding character is used to express the past tense. Thus, change or changed, timed, liked, willed, and there are more 
And so this is the first one. So there are two ways of showing the past tense. Let me go ahead and pull up our next, our next session or not, no, not next session, next section. There we go. Just, ah, there we are. And I'll go ahead and display it to the screen now. So 59.2, there we go. Very short. 59.2. There it is. In all other cases, join T or D if a uh, distinctive and facile joining is possible. Otherwise, you disjoin the T, as in glared and tapered, to express the following uh, past tense thus. So we have past, uh, praised, visited, so visited, uh, labored, so labored, notice that would not, uh, that, that just does not curve very well, so if we have labored, and then you just put a disjointed T, traced, raced, Uh, mentioned, mentioned, risked, glared. Oh, we have to do our G first. Glared, glared, uh, feared, like so, shaped. Make the A just a little bit bigger. Shaped, reached, checked, tapered. So notice that either a P or a BR, you generally will have the disjointed uh, um, T or D. And then finally, feared. All right, so that concludes uh, the video on Greg Shorthand, it concludes day 54. Um, hope you like this content, uh, just slowly getting through the chapters. Uh, um, if you like the video, then consider giving the video a like on uh, on YouTube, share it with your friends, uh, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more Greg Shorthand content, um, and have a wonderful day. So get out there and practice some of these strokes that we just covered today. All right, take care. Bye-bye.